Today's topic is data structure introduction. As we all know, data may be organized in many different ways. So, the mathematical or logical model of a particular organization of data is known as data structure. How we store data in memory, in logical or mathematical way is modeled by the data structure. Data structures are generally classified as primitive data structure and non-primitive data structures. As we can see in the diagram that primitive data structures can store only a single value, integer, float, character, boolean, whereas non-primitive data structure can store a collection of values. Primi depending upon the structure, non-primitive data structures are further categorized are further categorized as linear data structure and non-linear data structure. Linear data structure contains arrays, linked list, stack, queue, and non-linear data structures contain trees, graphs. So the primitive, as we have uh, discussed, primitive data structures represent a single value. They, that's why they are also known as simple data type. Whereas non-primitive data types can store a group of values, that's why they are more complex data structures. Our non-primitive data structures are derived from primitive data structures. As we have already discussed, examples are array, stack, queue, linked list, tree, and graph. Now we come that depending upon structure and arrangement, non-primitive data structures are categorized as linear and non-linear. Linear data structures are those whose elements form a sequence or a linear list. That's, that means data is arranged in a linear fashion. It's not necessary that all the elements are stored in memory in a sequential manner. Examples are array, stack, queue, linked list. Whereas in non-linear data structures, elements are not arranged sequentially. There is not one way to reach from one element to another element. Now, operations that can be performed on a data structure. The data appearing in data structures are processed by means of operations. Some frequently used operations are traversing. Traversing means accessing all the elements exactly once. Or we can say accessing each record exactly once. While accessing the record or the element, we can perform certain operations on that record. Next operation is searching. Searching means finding the location of an element or a record with a given key value or finding the location of all the records or elements satisfying certain conditions. Next operation is inserting or insertion. Insertion means adding a new record or a new element to the existing data structure. Next operation is deleting or deletion. That means removing a record or an element from the existing data structure. There are two more operations that are used in special, uh, special situations. One is sorting. Sorting means arranging the records in some logical order. That logical order can be alphabetical order, numeric order, etc. Next is merging. Merging means combining the records in two different sorted files into a single sorted file. That means if we have two lists of students arranged roll number wise and we want them to merge and we want to, them to combine in a list so that the roll numbers remain in sorted order, that process is known as merging. 